Hello. For um, these th three problems, let's do this one first. Um, what you're trying to find out, like the correlation, it says which of the following pairs of variables is likely to have a positive correlation. Positive means as X is increasing, so is Y. A person's height and their favorite color, those would have nothing to do with each other. As you get taller, your color's not going to change, the favorite color. Number of hours you train at a skill and the number of mistakes you are doing. So the more you train, the less mistakes. That would be negative, not positive. Um, your height and your intelligence, the taller you are, doesn't increase your intelligence. The square footage of a home and its price. The larger the home, the higher the price. So that would be a positive correlation because they are both increasing. The speed of a car and the time to its destination. Well, the faster the car is going, the less time to get where it's going. So that would be negative. The number of alcohol you drink and your driving ability. The more you drink, the less you can drive. So it's only the one. On this one, which of the following pairs of variables is likely to have a negative correlation? The speed of the car and the time to a destination. The faster you go, the quicker you're going to get there. Well, yeah. So the destination would lower. Um, I don't know if there could be more than one. The number of miles you run and the calories you burn, those would both be positive. So that would be a positive one. Um, the square footage of a home and its price as the, well, that was up there. As the square footage increases, the price increases. A person's height and color have nothing to go with each other. The years of education and your salary, that should be positive. The more education you have, the higher your salary. So only one was negative. Oh, maybe there was only one in those two, and this one can have more than one. Which of the following pairs of variables are likely to have positive? The speed of the car and the time you get there, that would be a negative. Your square footage and the price of the home, they both increase together. Your education, as that increases, so does your salary. The number of miles you run and the number of calories you burn. The more you run, the more calories you burn. A person's height and their favorite color does not have a correlation. So it would be the three of them. Um, this one, because I already put these in there. Rivers in North Carolina contain a small concentration of mercury, and they want us to compute the correlation between the length and the weight of the fish. So they have the length and the weight, and I copied this onto Desmos. And... We just needed R. To find R and also the trend line, this is X1 and Y1, so you'd put Y1 and you want MX plus B. But you don't use an equal sign. Next to the one on your keyboard, you hit Shift and that key and you'll get this little symbol here. And then it's MX. 1 plus B. So it does give you the line if you did need it. We were just looking for R.9682. Um, the other one, we were looking for R and R squared. I think I can still copy this. Yeah. Whoops. So control C, 
Go back to Desmos. I'm going to delete both of these and then put Control V. And Y1 and X1 plus B. When you click the one, you don't have to do a subscript. It automatically goes down there. And here's your R squared, and here is R. And that's what they had here.